Hello, because the previous version of the detector aroused great interest and the sensor used MPU6050 has different manufacturers and different behaviors, leading to numerous errors. I replaced this sensor with a piezo speaker and a transistor. Several components are used to realize the project, you can find details about the electrical diagram in the description. I attached a spring to the piezo speaker by tinning to increase the sensitivity. The code is built in the Visuino program, a program with which you can develop projects in just a few minutes. Next I will describe how I built the code for this project. Find the codes in both Arduino IDE and Visuino format. We load the code and observe the Arduino board and the OLED display. The counter component counts from 0 to 128 with a speed dictated by the clock signal of the clock generator component, moving the dash on the display screen from left to right from 0 to 128. The dimensions of the display. The value 40 on the Y axis refers to the position of the line on the display from top to bottom, more precisely at elevation 40 out of 64. The compare integer value component has the value 1. When the counter reaches the value 1, the component switches its output from false to true generating a pulse on the clock signal of the display. Fill screen erasing everything on the screen at that moment, and the line resumes moving from left to right. On input analog 0 we find the output value from the collector of the detector transistor. This value is passed through a map range component to maintain the maximum and minimum value of the vertical movements of the dash within the limits of the display dimensions. The higher the voltage value at analog 0 pin, the more the line will move up and down on the display. 2. Compare analog value components detect a minimum and a maximum value at which the detector triggers the acoustic and visual alarm. That the pulse generator components dictate the blinking value of the LEDs and the sound. We correctly choose the board type and port and upload the code to the Arduino board. Insert the USB plug. A thicker or thinner line will appear on the display. Turn the potentiometer to get the thinnest line possible. For a safe and accurate detection, install it on a wiring board and do not mount the speaker and the piezo sensor on the same support. Thanks for watching.